Hallelujah. Praise you, they walk back. I want to apologize to you guys. I've been out the net for um, for about a week. So I know it's been a while since I made a video. So before I start on this lesson today that I want to talk about, I want to go through some scriptures first. So if you got your Bible, the King James Version, I want you to turn to Matthew 5 and 48. Turn to Matthew 5 and 48. So it's going to make sense first, but I got to put out the scripture so to get you in the mindset of what I want to talk about. It says, be ye perfect, even as your father which is in heaven is perfect. So let me turn this up. Let me turn this down. This heater is cold over here in Topeka, Kansas. I say again, be ye therefore perfect, even as your father in heaven is perfect. Now, there's a reason why I put that out. We should be striving for perfection because I'm going to let you in on a little testimony as I go through the information I'm giving today. I also turn to James 4, 7 and 8. James 4, 7 through 8. James 4, 7 and 8. Submit yourselves, therefore, to the Most High. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Submit yourself, therefore, to the Most High. Resist Satan and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to the Most High, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Now today this is about cleansing and purification. Draw nigh to the Most High, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Okay. This is very important. Now let's go to John, 1 John 2 and 14. 1 John 2 and 14. 1 John 2 and 14. I have written unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong, and the word of God abideth in you, and ye have overcome the wicked. Very important. First John's two and fourteen. So the purpose of this is to let you know that the most high is in a cleansing process. He is in a cleansing and purification process right now. That's what we're going through. A cleansing and purification process. Meaning that everything that you was doing of the world, it has to be let go right now. All of it. Everything. All of it. Everything. All of it has to go. Mr. Lockie, I just turned the car off. All things. All things of the world. That's Instagram. That's video games. That's sports. That's rap. And that's R&B music. Those are things of the world. If ye is of the world, the Father is not in you. If he is of the world, then the Father is not in you. So let's go to 1 John 2 and 16. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. That's 1 John 2 and 15. So, you can't be of the world and be in this truth. That time is over with. Right now, the Most High is doing a cleansing and purification process. That means that all things of the world, you have to let it go right now. You can't do it once a week. You can't do it twice a month. All of those things. That's sports. That's Instagram. That's rap music. Um, that's science fiction. That's everything of the world. It has to go right away. And like I told you, when I get information, I put it out to you guys for the simple fact is that I don't make these videos to be holier than thou. Helping you helps me. I struggle as well. So yesterday I was um, listening to some old R&B music from the 80s and 90s. I don't listen to new music because all of the demonic frequencies uh, within that and new music right now is real heavy. And a friend of mine hit me up on Instagram. She's in the truth. And she said, I only listen to Israelite and Yahweh music. I don't listen to stuff of the world. And as soon as I got off the Instagram with her, 
went to sleep. I got a message from the Most High telling me she is correct. All these things have to be purified and cleansed. Folly and madness, um, dirty mind, dirty images in the mind. All of those things, you're not going to enter the kingdom. We're being deceived when we think that knowing the Bible and the Apocrypha up and down is going to get you in the kingdom. That's not right. That's not true. Now, I don't want anybody to twist this and think I'm saying, oh, OK, well, you don't have to know the Bible. That's not what I'm saying. If you go to First Chronicles 6, 9 and 10. First Chronicles 6, 9 and 10, it tells you what are the keys to the kingdom. So a lot of these Israelites in these groups, they're being taught that all they have to do is know the Bible and Apocrypha up and down. No, that's not true. That it is good. It is masterful to know that. It is wonderful. It's great. You can't live by the Most High's laws without knowing that. That's not what I'm saying. That's not the only thing. Holiness trumps all. And right now, the Most High is cleansing and purifying his elect. He's letting everybody know. That's why I'm doing this video that all things of the world, you have to let it go right now. Instagram, rap music, sports, uh, TV, all the folly and madness that has nothing to do with holiness or the Israelite truth or praising him. If it's not praising him, you are not to do it. You have to let it go. We have to be groomed and we have to be presentable to the Most High. And when the son of man comes to judge the nations and you got dirty images in your mind, folly and madness, sports, music, entertainment, then you're not ready. You're not ready to be presented. You're not going to make it. Like I said, I'm in the, the process right now to where I give information. You take it or you leave it alone. I'm not going to debate nobody. I'm not going to keep going back and forth to my subscribers. If you believe what I tell you or you believe in the message that's given to me, I give it to you. Either accept it or leave it alone. So all of us, myself included, if you're still once a week, once a month, dabbling in foolishness of the world, if you are of the world, you are not of the Father. And right now, going through the selection and election process that the Most High is going through, then you're going to have to let that stuff go. It has to go away. Now, if you watch one of my earlier videos... When I get information, I get it through numbers and dreams. And when the Most High is not pleased with whatever my direction is going, I see sixes, three sixes, triple sixes, phones, clocks everywhere. When he is pleased, I see fours, twelves, four teams, uh, 144, 144. I see those numbers. I see those numbers representing the 12 tribe of Israel, the four corners of the earth, representing the fourth tribe of Judah. Representing 144,000. I see those numbers when he is pleased with what I'm doing. He speaks to me in numbers and dreams. You can believe it or not. I'm just letting you know. So when I get information, I give it to you, but I'm giving it to you through scripture. So right now. Before I end, we're going through a cleansing and purification process. All of the folly and madness of the world. You have to let it go. All of it. If it's not praising him, it's no good. Thank you guys. I'm out. Shalom. Peace.